Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 1st, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to Week 18, 2023, May 1st, already. Moving right along here, and welcome to the Daily Do. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Looking here at our sun, as it did produce yet another strong M-Class solar flare, sunspot region right here. In an outgoing fashion, does not look like it will create a CME, but we shall see as ISWA models have not been updated yet. But we've seen quite a few events on our sun the last 48 hours. And it's creating spectacular imagery here. Solar Dynamics Observatory. We're observing 304 angstroms right now. And this is where we saw the M-Class solar flare. Right there. Pretty strong M-Class flare as well. M7.1, I believe. There we are. That was the M-Class solar flare. Having a look at multi-spectrum. M-Class solar flare from the cresting. And as well, strong C-Class solar flares coming from the northwest region of our sun. Energy is bouncing to the antipode, total opposite in the southeast regions. Welcome everybody to the stream. Hello, Michael. Hello, Keto Mama. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Sharona. Welcome, Melody. Hello, Magical Sister. Hello, High Vibes. Hello, Sandy Warden. Hello, David McClelland. Welcome everybody to this live update giving you an update on space weather, earthquakes, and world weather. Stay tuned for the volcanic activity report. Still working on that. But I know we have way too many volcanoes that are active and erupting at the present time. So stay tuned, as that will be coming up as well. Planetary positioning. Another close glance here at our sun. Two sunspot regions right here were battling for supremacy. And it looked like the southern one started moving a bit faster northward. And that's where they collided and created that M-class solar flare. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. And as well broadcasted here with daily events worldwide. This is the 24-hour live stream screen. So this is normally what you see when the live stream is going. Having a look at our magnetosphere, the pressure is on our planet just now over the past few hours as we were whacked by a little something. You can really see it here in the solar winds magnetosphere movie. Watch all of the back energy coming in right after the impact right there. And then whap. Magnetosphere was definitely jogged around here by all the space weather that we've seen recently. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on that. Solar wind speeds are now sitting at, what I believe, 497 kilometers per second. Our two moderate space weather storm right now we are experiencing. KP index of 3.5. Having a look at the solar X-ray flux, strong M-class solar flare right there. M-class solar flare yesterday and many C-class solar flares as the solar X-ray flux remains high. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP 3.5. Have a quick glance here at our solar winds over the past week or so since we've been impacted by all of these solar storms amazing images and data here with NOAA 
Let's get a week in there. Again, I want to welcome everybody to this live stream. This is a live update. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for your support to the channel. And thank you for all the memberships. Much love to you all. I appreciate each and every one of you. As we just passed 64,000 followers, still on our road here to 100. We can do it if we keep sharing, liking, commenting on the videos. And I appreciate you all. Hello, Alfonso. Hello, Nicholas. Hello, Marilyn M. Welcome, everyone, to the stream. Hello, Lana Parrish. This is the last seven days for solar winds. Right now, just under 500 kilometers per second. But this past week, it's been quite a ride for a magnetosphere. Have a look at earthquakes from around the world today. The last 24 hours were under 200 earthquakes, according to USGS. But we did just have recently another earthquake here in California. Pretty sizable west of the geysers and as well south of the geysers. Small swarm is still occurring at Salton Sea. Minor earthquakes here through central New Madrid. And we did see some activity come to South America for sure. Lots of deep earthquakes here through Chile, Argentina, Peru, and northward. And this is where I was forecasting earthquakes. Was right through Central America region, parts of North, South America, and up of course, up into California and northward into the Cascades, we still haven't seen enough release, I believe. Deepest earthquake today, Fiji region. Some pretty strong earthquakes in the same spot right here in between Taiwan and Japan. Some sizable earthquakes through the Kermadec Trench. We'll have a look at the magnitudes here in just a moment. Give you a quick glance at what our world is doing. Yesterday after the update, pretty sizable 5.4 earthquake struck Italy and it was quickly downgraded to a 4.3, but it was a strong one nonetheless, just east of Stromboli Volcano. Having a look here at USGS as they are reporting 191 earthquakes in the 24 hour period right now. And just recently we did see some activity, Northern California and Southern California. As well, earthquake here just recently in South America, yet again. Hello Vulcan, welcome to the stream. Hello Hector, hello Crypto. Welcome everybody, this is a live update for y'all. 76 people watching, can we get 76 likes? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's zoom in here to California. As we just saw the most recent here, 3.1 Searless Valley. Looks like the swarm has stopped here at the Salton Sea. Minor earthquakes here, 39 throughout the region at the geysers. And as well, right along the coastline here. Just recently, I believe this was a 3.7. But low numbers for earthquakes and no large earthquakes. Knock on wood. And stay aware and prepared as we are still monitoring our worldly situation, yeah, 3.6 there, point arena around the world. Minor seismicity building all across the Pacific Northwest, atop Rainier, west of Helens, minor activity west and northwest of Yellowstone.
And just recently here, Palka, Peru, 4.1 earthquake. And that's earthquakes for the past 24 hours. Now let's have a look at our world weather. As entitled here, huge lows <clears throat> spinning in the northern hemisphere right now. And these strong low pressure systems don't seem to be breaking down. This lingering low pressure system here over eastern Canada and the U.S. has been dropping rain for days. And it does not look like it's going to go away. And before it does, it's going to bring some snow. That's right, we're May 1st, and we're going to be getting some snow here in parts of Ontario and as well the United States. So heads up, huge low pressure system here gathering up all surface level low pressure systems in the upper level low and that's what this system here is doing as well <clears throat> there was a strong low pressure system that came out of the pacific and ran through the gulf came up into um, nova scotia but now the low pressure system that was over ontario is pulling it into the vortex and yeah, now they're going to be shuffling eastward over the next couple days. Forecast models show first one scooting out into the Atlantic, second one hanging about and bringing partial snowfall to parts of eastern Canada and in the United States. So winter's not over yet, apparently, in some areas. And long-range forecast doesn't look any better, especially for the west. All higher elevations will be seeing snow in their forecast <clears throat> so these systems as i've been talking about for years now they seem to be getting bigger and stronger and now bringing more moisture with the increased cloud cover across the northern hemisphere and i think all of the uh Volcanoes that are erupting around the world has something to do with that. High pressure ridge building in for eastern Canada. By this weekend coming up, things will warm up, but then cool down again as that high pressure comes from the north. But big high pressure ridges here over Hawaii and the North Pacific, ushering all low pressure systems across Alaska, and then they come in northward over BC or they don't make it northward and they scoot down the coastline here which is what's going to happen in the long range before our next big system comes and there's a lot of snowflakes here coming with this low pressure system Tuesday May 9th I'm happy that I'm able to give you this detailed forecast and thanks everybody for tuning in. Stay tuned for the full video it will be released here shortly and we will resume regular live stream transmissions. Much love to you all and thank you for watching today and choosing daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared to daily events, daily space weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes, and much love to y'all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.